Welcome back, YouTube. Let's go. I was just heading somewhere. I don't know where. Where was it? Does this actually show me my objectives? Objective. Drive to Freddy's. In Little Italy. Okay. Now let's see if my car is still in a pile somewhere up here. I actually got a weapon. I guess I have. Nice. A bit knackered. There's a cop in. So I wonder what kind of shop she can go in. What's that? Clothes shop. Uh. I love it how this video is going to get so flagged for having some sort of music in it. How far away is this thing? All the way over there. Oh god. Ah. Little Italy. Here we go. Where do I park? Here. Get wet in the process. <laughs> Open trunk. What the hell? Oh, I wonder if I can cram a dead body in that small compartment layer. Ah, engine seems fine. <laughs> Alright. Take a load off. You want something to drink? Yes. Give me a a whiskey. No. Yeah, whatever. A whiskey. There you go. Drink up. Ah, there we go. It's the spot. All right. Where are they? Ah, here they are. Poor Joe. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shit all. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. 
This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. So what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got be. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. All right, let's get done. Drive to that woman's apartment. See you later. Yeah, see ya, dude. Whoever you are. Is there a policeman? I wonder what the uh, handbrake is. I think it's space bar. Here we are. Did I just see? No. <laughs> Here we go. It's always in the glowing door, isn't it? Hello, ma'am. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry <laughs> Tomasino sent me. He said he might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Always a favor for someone, isn't it? What the? The guy just fell over. Get in, woman. Good. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I've seen the way you kids drive these days. Um, yes. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get in through the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back. 
Then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. There's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Okay, sneak in through the window, avoid the guards, get the key out of the director's office. And the safe is in another room on the top floor somewhere. Oh god, guard the way, Coppeth. Kids these days. Here you go. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. The office is right across the street. Where? Well, in theory, I shouldn't need a gun. Stealthily. Right. Yep. Okay. What was get up against? Yes, control. Steam. <laughs> Can I get in this? Nope. That's clearly locked. Space to climb in through the window. Hey. That's pretty cool. Stay hidden. Only cover press E to move in order. There a copper. Oh shit. You got any plans for the weekend? Yeah. Gonna relax and watch me some television. You bought a television? I sure oh, did. Sh 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 yeah, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary Tucker Wu passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. <laughs> Nothing in here. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Ah, there. Alright, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. What the? 
I've seen this guy's pitch. It's like a Jew or something. <laughs> Employee of the month. I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you very much. This television's just a fan. We'll see about that. Holy shit. Yeah, so what does Mary think of? Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> she ain't seen it yet. That copper still isn't there, is he? Good. Let's go. Oh shit. Shit 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 shit. There's a copper leaning over the balcony. Don't come this way. Oh, God. on that fancy television set of yours. Most new cartoons. They ain't got much time right now on account of the war. Cartoons? All that money to watch some cartoons. Now when the war's over, you're supposed to start showing Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Pick the lock. Okay. Um. And it give me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein. Let's hear it. 16 minutes on this video. What do you mean? Okay. Oh shit. Pin down over here. Run. <clears throat> I was having a good day till I met you. <clears throat> the alarm went off. Sneaking. No. Climb over, man. Was that meant to happen? Whoa, 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 what this? Watch the door, man. And I'm done. Well, I heard you make out. Uh, things got out of hand. There's nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Uh, let's see what we got here. What? Piss off. Ah, oh, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date, and that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait, if you can get them to the gas station attendants by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. What? If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. 
The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Uh, okay. Um, what the hell? Alright, YouTube. I will see you next time.